one last thing about uh, the Hawks closing out the Knicks. I thought with the Knicks, it was obvious, you know, when Trey Young's taking that bow and the game was over right there. I thought that the Knicks would spend at least a few seconds knowing that the game was over with a tribute to Marv Albert in Madison Square Garden. It would have been great. I thought, no, I thought that was great. No, they did it. Hold on, I'm being told that did not happen. <laughs> okay, so Marv, who is the voice of the great Valhalla Knicks days of Red Holtzman and Clyde Frazier and Bill Bradley and Willis Reed and the Red Holtzman end of that era and the voice of the Bernard King Knicks into the Patrick Ewing Knicks. That guy, who, by the way, was also the voice of the New York Rangers, Rangers at the forever. time with the great yeah. Barry Beck, Beck years when they were going yeah. with Ron Duguay and his flowing hair going up against the Drive for Five Islanders, who I despised. Oh, we hated him. We hated him. <laughs> when the blue seats in Madison Square Garden, which the, they referred to, the, the upper deck in Madison Square Garden, the top deck in Madison Square Garden is the blue seats because that was the color of the seats where all the... Garden Ziggies would hang out. Yeah, it was amazing. Ziggy. Channing Pot Van sucks. sucks, even when the Islanders <laughs> were not in the, the building. Time. Yeah, any day. Okay. What are Ziggies? Uh, just, you know, Joe Schmoes. Okay. I mean, I watched the Rangers win the Stanley Cup right. in Aaron the Blue. And let me tell you something. You want to. Marv talk. was Nuts. the voice of Nuts. my youth in the 70s. He is why I do this for a living. He gave. He was the voice of Madison Square Garden before Billy Joel was. <laughs> and that's a fact. That's so true. That's, that's a fact. So true. I am not lying when I say that. Yes, that is a fact. He He's was the soundtrack. He was the soundtrack of the great seventies and eighties and early nineties. He got the job on NBC and was the voice. Of round ball rock Jordan because of what he did in Madison Square Garden. 100%. <laughs> and there he is last night in his last game in Madison Square Garden if the Knicks were out that night, last night. He's sitting there, and because he, like Oakley and others, also were shunted and shoved away from the garden by James Dolan. I mean, and I understand you can't do it at like the second quarter, third quarter, because, hey, there could be a game seven. Marv could actually call that game seven. You never know. Like, I understand the issue with giving the man a tribute in the garden because it could be their last game in the garden too last night. I understand that. But when there's just... No time left on the clock, pretty much. Just just, just show the guy with a headset on. Let him wave to Madison Square Garden because all the fans in that building know who he is. And I know he had his problems, too. That's a long time ago. And I know I might be placing, certainly in the Me Too era, something aside that will cause me a little bit of grief. But I love this guy. I do this job for a living. Watch, I'll see in a text that they actually did it. I can't, I, I, I have, I've spoken to friends of mine in the building last night. They were not, they, they, that, that, that did not happen from what I was told. Come on, man. He should have a picture in the rafters. And this is why, again, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Honestly, don't understand how, and I know you can't, Spell fanatic without fan. And fandom drives you crazy. And fans, ma- fan, being a fan makes you crazy. And, fan, and being a fan will make you do crazy things. I just can't understand why everybody flocks back and gives this man their money. All the celebrities. Everybody. Take back. a courtesy car across the East River. I know there's traffic. I know it's tough. Get on the subway. You know, oh, I don't know if they're going Chill. on the subway, but I'm it's just like, talking. Right I'm talking to all the celebrities. Right I'm right. talking to them. And I want to, I want to take my kids to Madison Square Garden, too, one day. This is where I grew up. This is where I found and fell in love with a game. Concerts. I don't understand. 
Well, I'm going down another Dolan wormhole again. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're we're, Sorry, we're circling. Right. I'm right. here for it. We're circling. We're oh, I here. don't understand it. <laughs> Spike, he made you go around the corner. He made you leave the arena. <laughs> and go around the corner like you never walked into the building before. And now you're flying down to Atlanta. You're the face of the franchise now. They're att- the Knicks are associated with your face and your brand, and you're going to keep doing it. When Durant and Harden and Kyrie are going to be going to the finals, maybe. In your town. I don't understand it. I was not planning to go in this direction, but I'm confident. I'm, I'm did. tired. I mean, Rich, you went <laughs> I, 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 and I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so conflicted. Like, I do love watching the Knicks. But last night when Trey Young bowed, and I'm like, damn straight, Trey, you just bowed to the wrong end of the arena. Bow to the guy in the... Schmecky, schmecky hat <laughs> with his harmonica. Bow to that guy. <laughs> that guy on the screen. <laughs> what is this by here? The garden is the Mecca, and James, I'm really trying, trying really hard to be cool. Dolan is schmecky. That's the proper spelling of schmecky. Yeah, I like that. Can we combine the two and officially call it the schmecka? While he's in control. Wow. I like it. The Schmecka. <laughs> the Schmecka. Do you think, Rich, this year's Knicks season was a success? Absolutely a success. A raging success. A raging success. Even though disappointment a playoff. A raging they were favored, success. They were the four seed. A raging success because they clearly got the coach right. They got Julius Randle doing stuff on a floor that gets fans back in the building. R.J. Barrett took a step forward iq is a terrific draft pick obi toppin looked good in the obi playoffs toppin too, yeah. looked good too and and then you got the the players like gibson and bullock who and you know no, Alex Ed burks, burks who you know well, like yeah. those are the players that fans in new york love they love it they love it when 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 people love when people Players show up in the garden and just spill it out all on the floor, and they fall in love with that, and it got fans back in the building, and 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 they're they'll never quit the Knicks. I'm alone. I I'm one of the few. I had to quit them. And when Trey Young bowed on on that on the fans, and I know so many of my friends in that building, so many New Yorkers who were like, "Yeah, uh, you know, it's a bummer. I wanted them to go deep." I'm like, "Great." So I can't stand that owner. I admire it's you terrible. being able to quit, man. I quit it. I quit it. I, lo- I love watching basketball, mm. and it's tough for me to turn back on a team of my youth. But Marv Albert, can you just show him on the screen? Can you just have have just have the just have a Willis Reed moment? It's your moment. It's your moment in the garden. It's your moment for your franchise. It's your history of your franchise. Willis Reed coming back on the floor, and you hear Marv's voice, and then you just you just show Marv sitting there in his headset. Let him wave to the crowd. Very simple. Over. Thanks, Marv. It got people like me into this team, and there's a whole generation of people. Thanks, Marv. Thank you, Marv. Ah, there you go. Yes. 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 And it counts. Mike Breen calling his umpteenth NBA finals. Why do you think he's what do you think he's doing? Calling these games. We all grew up. We're the same age from New York. Come on. All right. <laughs> I love it. All right, poll questions after this. Do you really? Oh man. Yeah, I mean, we we needed it, Rich. We wanted. <sighs> it's it's facts. I need a break. <laughs> I need a smoke, and I don't smoke. <laughs> smoke in the pancake. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.